What up, peoples? This your boy, D Blaze. <laughs> and welcome to this episode of Viper's Curve, where it happens to deal with the perspective of loss. Hence the title, The Abyss of Loss. Now, we all, now we all have lost something so precious to us to where we, we really don't know how to rebound from it. But it, but it is our greatest follies that test our strength. And wonder if we and wonder if if we all have the courage to get past such such deception, such heartache, such pain, such misery. And the list goes on and on. But um but I want you all to pay pay close attention to the lines within the poem. So you can so you can further understand why I call this the abyss of loss. So Let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> you lose one friend. You lose all friends. You lose yourself. As the zest for life is lost. Reality forged by passion becomes lost. As happiness once sacred becomes vagrish and tainted. You lose faith in self. Confidence becomes a faded memory. Thus losing yourself in the world who prays to feast off those who don't believe in themselves, their success, and their faith. <laughs> Lose a loved one, gain an angel. <laughs> the abyss of loss, a dark voided cave to be encased in. As doubt clouds the body, <laughs> never cave in to the false doubt of fire risen by Satan. Stand before him, rejoice in God's blessings upon you, as Satan will turn and run away, fearing his might. <laughs> the abyss will become your cavern of confidence, with the light of faith as your guide. Now, now within, within the beginning, those are just prime examples of what happens when you deal with the pain of loss. You lose close friendships. I mean, you feel you feel betrayed. You feel lost. You feel like you have no one to turn to. I mean, <laughs> I mean, especially if you're dealing with the pain of loss of a loved one. And with the pain of a loss. With the pain of loss of a loved one, it's very hard to come. It's very hard to come back from. But, but as you feel that, as you feel that, they have ascended. They have ascended to the skies above. <laughs> you feel their suffering no more, as they take their rightful place in heaven. <laughs> and to be honest, that's how. I, and to be honest, that's how I feel every time when I look up at the sky. I see my cousins smiling down upon me, <laughs> and that, and that sends, and that's, and that's just sends nothing but nothing but chills down my spine, knowing that he's up there, all smiles. Although, although there are times I wish he was still here, but but I'm but there's not a day that goes by, but I don't think of him as as one of my guardian angels. But but just to give those as prime examples. Here's the overall moral to the to the perspective of loss. You can you can lose a lot of things, but never lose yourself. When you lose yourself, that's that's pretty much accepting defeat. And when you came into defeat so easily, you never know you never know the true meaning of your own strength if you don't try. 
you if you don't try to overcome the trials, the tribulations, the obstacles, challenges that life has placed before you. If you don't stand up to the challenge, then how can you, how can you expect other people to believe in you when you don't even believe in yourself? And that's my take on it. But I thank y'all for tuning in. And stay tuned for Lessons of Love Volume 8 coming up. And I shall see you soon. Adios. Bang.